girls. First of all, I miss you so much. I can't wait to see all of you back at school again. I hope you're enjoying every minute of your summer vacation, but I can't wait to see you. Um, Rabbi Pepper told me that it's my turn to give the Dvar Torah this week, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about Parshat Ve'ed Hanan. Um, and you probably remember the story that happened earlier with Moshe Rabbeinu when the Jewish people were complaining they wanted water, and instead of speaking to the rock, Moshe hits the rock, and then, I know you know this part, Hashem told Moshe that he could not go into Eretz Yisrael, that he was going to keep traveling with the Jewish people, but he was not going to enter Eretz Yisrael. So that happened, and Moshe accepted that. In this week's Parsha, after Moshe has just done an amazing job leading the Jewish people in a battle, and they were, they were successful battling Sichon and Og, now Moshe goes and asks Hashem to reconsider the punishment. He says, um, Hashem, I know you told me that I couldn't go into Eretz Yisrael, but I've been really working hard and being such a good leader. Could you reconsider? And that kind of reminded me of some of all of you, because I think that a lot of friends can understand Moshe in this situation, because have you ever had the situation where your Ima or your Abba tells you that you can't go to a movie later because you didn't make a good choice um, or your behavior wasn't good. So they say, well, you know, tomorrow when we all go to the movie, you're not gonna go. And you say, fine, I don't mind, that's fine. But then when it comes time for everybody to go to the movie, now you feel a little bad because now it's time and you really realize that you really, 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 really want to go to that movie. So I feel a little bit like we can understand what's happening to Moshe. Now B'nai Israel are getting ready to go right into Eretz Israel, and he sort of feels like it's almost about to happen and he doesn't get a chance to go. And so he feels sad about that. And just like your mommy and daddy might do, Hashem says, Hashem listens to Moshe but says no. Um, that he was going to keep the punishment the way that it was. So that Moshe had to not go into Eretz Yisrael with the Jewish people. He could peek over and look at it, but he could not go in. So he had to do the punishment that Hashem told him he had to do. And do you know what Moshe does? Instead of pouting and getting mad and sad, he actually returns to his job as teacher and leader. And he goes back to do the special work that he does. And so in the rest of the Parsha, Moshe guides the Jewish people by teaching them more about the mitzvot. He teaches them a lot of the mitzvot. He talks about the Aser Hadibrot again, and he teaches them some, gives them a lot of advice also about how to keep the mitzvot. And I think there's really something to learn from Moshe Rabbeinu here, because he didn't get his way from Hashem when he asked Hashem to reconsider the punishment, but he kept on doing the things that he was supposed to do. And I think as boys and girls who are learning, I think it's a really good lesson for us to take away from this Parsha. What do you think? Um, I look forward to seeing you all soon. Shabbat Shalom. Are you ready or not?